Apple is gearing up to release its new M5 MacBooks towards the end of this year, likely around October or November, according to trusted insider Mark Gurman. These upcoming models are expected to bring some impressive upgrades, especially in terms of connectivity and chip design. For starters, they'll support Wi-Fi 7, which means they can connect to three different frequency bands at once and automatically switch between them for the best performance. This is considered the peak of current Wi-Fi technology, promising faster and more reliable internet connections. Under the hood, Apple will introduce its new M5 chip series, including the M5, M5 Pro and M5 Max, which will power both the MacBook Air and MacBook Pro. However, don't expect the revolutionary 2 nanometers chip technology just yet. Apple is sticking with the older FinFET design, which they've used since 2013, including in the M4 chips, because TSMC's 2 nanometers process isn't ready for launch. That said, Apple is still changing things up. They're redesigning their silicon by separating the CPU and GPU into smaller components called chiplets. This change should make chips cheaper to produce, reduce overheating, and improve energy efficiency. It also makes it easier for Apple to build more powerful versions like the Max and Ultra chips. Even though the M5 chips won't be built on the newest process, a performance boost is still expected. But if you're considering whether to wait for the M5 or buy a MacBook now, there are some good reasons to go with the current M4 models. First, new tariffs imposed on products coming from countries like China, Vietnam, and Malaysia, where Apple manufactures many of its devices could cause prices to jump significantly. And experts say this could raise the price of M5 MacBooks by a few hundred dollars. If you buy an M4 model now, you can lock in the current prices. Second, the M4 MacBook lineup is already exceptional. The M4 MacBook Air has been called the best value MacBook ever. It starts at $999, sometimes even less on sale, comes with 16 gigabytes of RAM by default and outperforms the M3 Pro chip. The M4 Pro MacBook Pro is no slouch either. It outpaces Apple's M2 Ultra Mac Pro in multi-core performance and has the fastest single-core CPU on the market, beating even high-end Intel and AMD chips. And if you go for the M4 Max version, you're getting best-in-class performance for both graphics and single-core tasks, only slightly behind the M3 Ultra in some very specific use cases. Lastly, if you're holding out for something dramatically new, you'll want to wait until 2026. That's when Apple is expected to roll out a full redesign of the MacBook. These future models are rumored to be thinner, with upgraded battery technology that keeps battery life the same while making the devices lighter and sleeker. They may also feature stunning tandem OLED displays, custom Apple-made Wi-Fi and Bluetooth chips, and possibly even Face ID. However, don't expect cellular support or a C2 chip just yet. So, if you want solid performance without worrying about potential price increases and you're not too concerned with design changes, buying an M4 MacBook now is a smart move. On the other hand, if you care more about cutting-edge design and display technology, it might be worth waiting until 2026. So, that's it for this video. If you want more tech content, subscribe to us. Thanks for watching.